First of all, we're excited to welcome the 19th president of Oklahoma State University and want you to know, all of the OSU family to know, that from the very beginning, our OSU a and board recognized how important that this selection was going to be. And as a result, we tried our best to conduct a thorough and deliberate search with the goal of selecting the most qualified candidate to lead us into the future and build on the momentum that we all know had been created by President Burns Hargis. And today, with the selection of Dr. Casey Shrum, I think we have done just that. As I mentioned in our meeting earlier, we made a commitment to our campus community in October to bring together a, a diverse, a very dedicated and passionate and committed group to help us select the next president of OSU. And I see several of those search committee members here this evening. This committee spent a great deal of time in conducting this national search, and we received resumes from all over the country. Reviewing the resumes thoroughly, this search committee ultimately selected Dr. Casey Shrum. I again want to express my appreciation to the search committee. You went way above the call of duty in your efforts and sacrifice of time, and we appreciate your efforts. And as I said in the meeting, I especially appreciate Regent Joe Hall, who was agreeable in serving as the search committee chair. And at this time, I would like to call Regent Hall, if you would, to come forward and introduce the 19th president of Oklahoma State. Thank you, Chairman Davis. Well, our national search brought us back home with the selection of Dr. Casey Shrum. Dr. Shrum's well known and respected by not only the regents and our university community, but by the state and the national leaders as well. Her leaderships transformed our medical school in Tulsa, where she served as president for several years. Among her, among her many accolades and is expertise into the research and treatment of opioid addiction and the establishment of the National Center of Wellness and Recovery. She secured a landmark investment in 2019 for Purdue Pharma for $197.5 million to create the center. She's an effective leader, she's an innovative thinker, and she understands the value of collaborations and partnerships. Her work led to the establishment of the nation's first tribally affiliated medical school opening this year in partnership with the Cherokee Nation. Her fundraising efforts were key to the addition of the state-of-the-art to Andy Medical Academic Building. The list goes on and on, but the greatest quality Dr. Shrum brings to this campus is her love of students and the love of their success. It's with great honor that I introduce the next president of Oklahoma State University, Dr. Casey Shrum. Well, good evening. Thank you, Regent Hall, Regent Davis, Regent Milner, Regent Anthony, and all of the regents. I'm so honored and, and humbled by this appointment. OSU has a special place in my heart, and I'm thrilled at the opportunity to lead this vibrant university and the OSU system into a successful future. Leading the Center for Health Sciences, watching our students grow and learn and become medical professionals and go back to their communities and serve has been immensely rewarding for me. I look forward to working with our regents, our faculty and staff and students to build a shared future or a shared vision for the future and success of Oklahoma State University. I want to thank the regents for the trust that they've imparted in me today. I don't take this responsibility lightly. And I want to thank President Hargis for putting me on the leadership path by appointing me as the president of the OSU Medical School I'm forever grateful for his mentorship and his friendship. 
But mostly, I want to thank my husband, Darren, and my six children who are scattered across the OSU system, expanding their learning for their unwavering love and commitment and support. Thank you. Well, I would say that when, as a medical student at Oklahoma State University, I would have ne never imagined this day. Um, it has been extremely rewarding in every capacity serving at Oklahoma State University. And it's quite a privilege to be here today. Um, I look forward to providing an opportunity for students to achieve an education that will allow them to meet their dreams and achieve their goals in the future, just like Oklahoma State University gave to me. Well, I haven't had the opportunity to ask them yet, but I'm sure that they are very excited as they uh, awaited today. They were texting about every five minutes to ask how things were going. And so I look forward to visiting with them this evening, but I know that they're excited. They love Oklahoma State University. And of course, they love their mom and they're excited for this. So I'm looking forward to visiting with them. Absolutely, he's right over there, the first first cowboy, and he is excited, as am I, and we look forward. I think President Hargis and first cowgirl Ann have set the bar very high for the expectation for leadership at Oklahoma State University and across the state of Oklahoma, and Darren and I have big shoes to fill, and we are up for that challenge and looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. You know, what I, I love most about Oklahoma State University is the, the value that we place in relationships, the value we place in individualism, integrity, and the value of hard work, and that at the end of the day, uh, right does prevail. It may be hard, but as cowboys, we know that, and we work towards that end. And those are the values I think that I uh, have appreciated. And as, a, as a, an alum and as a graduate, as I walk in the corridor on the side there to the student union and you read those, it's very touching to me um, to walk through there. And I'm reminded all the time of our values. And when I'm here on campus, I walk through there intentionally because I, I think that's something that we can all be very proud of are the values I, I, that, that are consistent across the, the OSU family. Do you have specific goals or anything you want to accomplish in the first few months of your um, Well, I, I want to engage uh, with the faculty, staff, and students. Um, obviously, I'm excited to get started, but I think, you know, working together, um, creating a shared vision that we can all get behind and move together as, as one is what I want to see. I think that's important for the future success of the university. Absolutely. Um, as a medical profession, the benchmark is we follow CDC guidelines and we monitor those daily and um, anticipate um, for me to advocate following CDC guidelines. And um, I'm a, an advocate for vaccination and following those, those guidelines so that we can, you know, find our, our new normal again. The new president's house is coming. <laughs> 
Absolutely. I'm excited to, to uh, be there and, and have our OSU family there. It's going to be a beautiful house and I think a great opportunity and a place that all the OSU family can enjoy. Um, so I'm, I am. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> um, yes, I was, I was with my husband, Darren, and um, we were actually just sitting there quietly having conversations, um, talked to my kids a few times, and my family as they, you know, were inquiring what was going on, um, and when we were really just enjoying a quiet evening together, uh, awaiting for the news. Um, I, I am a firm believer that uh, the regents would make the right decision for the system. And so we were just waiting for that call. Dr. Shaw, we just talked about President Argus's mentorship and friendship. What's the kind of advice that he's given to you over the, these past few months? Um, I, you know, President Harius and I have talked many times uh, about um, leadership and really throughout my career. And, you know, what has what stuck with me the most from him and uh, the first cowgirl is that if I were provided the opportunity, that it is an unbelievable experience and privilege to be able to serve as the Oklahoma State University president and to engage, you know, with the students and faculty and that it is just a tremendous opportunity. And, you know, President Hargis and I, I imagine, will continue to stay um, in contact throughout the years and through the next several months as, as we transition. Any I blame it on Jaden Kasich in the search committee, to be honest with you. They did an outstanding job of narrowing the finalists down and sending us a, a tremendous group of, of finalists. And I will just say that our board takes this, this position, this decision, more seriously probably than any other task that we're charged with. We're very deliberate, and I do want to apologize for inconvenience that it cost any of you tonight and hopefully the, hopefully there was enough pizza sent over that you guys all had a chance to get some but they certainly didn't let us have any they wanted us out of the room but we we really did uh, were very thorough we covered all the candidates again this evening it's been a long two days for all of us as well uh, we're very thankful that we we landed on a leader that we can be proud of as our 19th president here at OSU so. was it You know, I, my answer to that personally from a board perspective, that, it, that it's always important to gather around you know, your leader at your institutions. And uh, I think that's something that our board believes in. And I'm very thankful for our board, uh, for the members of our board, and the, the commitment and the sacrifice that they take to this. And I guess that's one of the things about this whole process that's been most inspiring to me actually is just being able to see the passion that all of you have as Cowboy community members, uh, that the search committee had, goes all the way up to our Board of Regents. The passion that we have, uh, number one, to pick the right person, and then, and then and to your question, to get behind them and support them any way we can uh, to make both them and OSU successful going forward. So. If no further questions, I think, Casey, you ought to have Darren come up and be introduced. So this is, go ahead. Well, I would like to introduce you all to the, the first, first cowboy, Darren Shrum, my husband. <laughs> Darren and I are uh, celebrating our 29th year of marriage this year, 32 years together, and we are very excited about the opportunity to work together and to be a part of the uh, OSU system and the Stillwater campus and engage with the students. Any further questions? How does it feel to be the first, first 
<laughs> I, was asked that. Uh, I was asked that a few times uh, today, and uh, you know, it, it's it's a it's an honor, honestly. Um, it really is, and, and you know, this is actually the first, I guess. And so, you know, having this opportunity, as Casey mentioned a little bit earlier, um, is just an incredible opportunity. I mean, this is a once in a lifetime uh, position uh, for Casey and I, and. Um, I have no problem supporting her, you know, a thousand percent. Um, we've traded off and on in our professional careers for years. And so she's done an exceptional job, and I'm going to do whatever I can to support her uh, along with the kids and everything. And like they said, they are adult kids. They're semi-adults. They're 18 to 24, so you can kind of expect a lot of different things from them. Um, but it is just an honor, and, uh, you know, it's going to be great. So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and I just can't wait for it, uh, everything to, to come together and get started. So. It. Monica, I might just make one, one point because I know some of you might have the question. As we mentioned in October at, at President Hargis's retirement announcement, he will be serving through July 1, which will then become her effective day to begin serving. Dr. Shrum will begin on July 1. In this transition time, they will be working together, I'm sure, on many projects. But just wanted to clarify that for you. From her view, it'll probably be when she signs the contract, but, <laughs> but uh, there will, and the contract, of course, will state the effective date of July 1, so that will be that, that official moment you're looking for when she signs that. I would anticipate that that would be forthcoming, yes, yes absolutely. Thank you all.